My last two examples, I want to determine if a set of data is a linear model, a quadratic model, or a cubic model. In this set of data, I'm given years and cost of an item. The years, when I plug it into the calculator, which I'll represent later, I can have X represent 0 for 1990, 1 represent 1991, and 2 represent 1992, and 10 can represent the year 2000. Then I can let the Y value represent the cost. And when I do that, and I can use a stat plot in my calculator to represent this data, I get the data to make a figure that represents that figure. Now what we want to do is determine if that is a linear, a quadratic, or a cubic model. If it's a linear model, well, I have a straight line that is trying to model that set of data. You can tell that it's not very close to it. My quadratic model is getting a little bit closer to this set of data, but still, I have a lot of error in my data compared to the, cube, the quadratic model. The cubic model, on the other hand, represents the data very nicely. And in the calculator, it can give you a cubic regression, a quadratic regression, or a linear regression, and they show you the standard form of each. Then they give you the coefficients of each term in that standard form. For example, I have ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. They give you a, b, c, and d. And when asked to represent this data in a model, we know that the cubic is the best fit. Therefore, I just use the coefficients with the standard form, and I'm given the function below that represents this set of data. In our last example, I want to find a cubic model, then use the model to estimate the value of y when x is 5. We're given a set of data, and I want to show the procedure of how to enter this into our graphing calculator and plot the data and find the best model to fit that data. So let's go and plot our data. So I need to hit stat. One is already highlighted, which is edit. I want to hit enter. And in list one, I want to put our x values, negative 2. And after each number, I want to hit enter. Then negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now I want to enter my y values in list 2. So I'm going to tab to the right. List 2 is highlighted. Enter negative 7, 0, 1, 2, and 9. Now, to plot that data, I'm going to hit second y equals for stat plot. I need to hit enter because the first plot is off and I need to turn it on. Since it's off, I'm going to have the on highlighted and hit enter. I can choose different types of plots I want to have for my data. I'm going to choose just for the points. The x comes from list 1, the y comes from list 2, and that's the type of point I'm going to use to graph. When I press graph, I get my points plotted. What I can do now is to get a better view of my data by going to Window and knowing that I have a negative 2 for x on my min and 2 for my max, I can now change this to be a little bit below a 2. I'm going to try 5 and above a 2, 5. So a negative 5 and a positive 5. And my data is at a negative 7 and 9, so I'll leave that at a negative 10 and 10. So let's graph again. Gives us a little bit better view. Now what I want to do is to determine the model. I know they want this to be cubic, but let's try a couple of them. To try this, let's go to stat. I want to calculate. Let's try a linear model, which would be number 4. Now this is a linear model. I want to identify where to get the points from and also graph the model that it comes up with on the same plot that I've already had on my window. To do that, I need to hit second stat, which gives me the list. One is for my x value, then comma, second stat, again, the list. I'm going to hit two this time for my y values, comma. Now the next one is to graph that model that I come up with. So I'm going to go to vars, y vars, and I want to put the function in, enter. And I want to call that function number one, and, or in other words, put it in y editor number one. So I'm going to hit enter. Now let's determine what our value is. Enter again. 
So if this is a linear model, my slope intercept form would be y equals ax plus b or y equals 3.4x plus 1. Let's look at the graph. And you can see that it's close, but I have some error. So therefore, we might get a better fit by using a different type of model. What we want to do is go to our y and clear that value out. And let's go back to a different model. Let's try that by going to stat. And they actually determine which model we want to use, which is the cubic one. So we can use number six. Again, we want to name the list. So second, stat, and x values from list one, comma. Second, stat, y values from list two, comma. And we want to plot that model by going to vars, y vars. And we already deleted that from number one, so we can put that back in number one. And when we do, that gives me my cubic model when I hit enter again. And now I can see that my model is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So I can write that. And when I go back to the model, it's telling me my model is A is 1, B is 0, C is 0, and D is 1. So if we go back, Y equals 1 for A, X cubed, plus 0, X squared, plus 0, X, plus 1. And when I simplify, that gives me my model to be X cubed plus 1. Let's verify that by taking a look at our graph and plot of the points. And you can see, when I graph that, it models that data perfectly. So our representation of this model of points is our cubic model of y equals x cubed plus 1. In this example, I went a little bit further and I showed you how to do a linear model and see if that was a good fit for this set of data. But in the actual question, they wanted us to do a cubic model, and that's what I did at the end of our problem. Now what they wanted us to do is to estimate the value when x is 5. Well, when x is 5, all I need to do is substitute into our model. y equals 5 cubed plus 1. y equals 125 plus 1, which is 126. I also could have went back to our calculator, and I could have hit second graph, and that would have given us our table. And you can see that here I have a value of x equal to 5, and our estimation is 126, which is what we got from our substitution.